welcome nurse unit managers, executive and nurse educators. We have found ourselves in a situation throughout the world where technology has tried to take over human relationships. This has also translated into a highly technical skilled nursing workforce and which has lost or forgotten the essential skills of caring. This was never the intention, but it's still where we find ourselves today. This pendulum needs to swing back to a technical workforce that is deeply compassionate and empathetic. I wonder if you could go on a journey with me. The journey may be something you're very familiar with, or maybe something that you have only perceived in a nightmare. In either case, it is something that has crossed everyone's mind at one time or another. This is a scene. It is four o'clock in the morning and you have spent several hours in the emergency department in pain, but now you are dra drowsy from them. They tell you you have to go to intensive care. It is just a precaution, they say. What they are not telling me, what are they not telling me? Ask yourself, where does this lead? Do I need to think about the day that I may die? These questions flood your mind. This is all unfamiliar territory. You don't have the schemata to make sense of what's happening to you. What makes the difference in this scenario is the compassion and empathy shown by each and every staff member. This could be conveyed through the touch of a hand or a kind word. However it is conveyed, it is paramount. The IV fluids and the antibiotics heal your body, but what is going to heal your soul? I am proposing a four session short course called Compassion and Empathy in Nursing. This sequential course builds on four key areas. Empathic communication, which teaches the micro skills of compassion. Critical reflection, which teaches nurses to think about what they think about. Followed by the danger of compassion fatigue and the joy of compassion satisfaction. Finally, students are taught about emotional intelligence, which brings about social awareness and resilience. I'm asking you stakeholders to seriously consider implementing this curriculum. It is a return to the art of nursing, a place where many of you began. Implementing this curriculum means that patients who arrive at 4 a.m. and other times will be treated with dignity and respect at their most vulnerable moments. It could be me or it could be you. Thank you. For